Welcome to Let's Talk About That, the show about the show. I'm Stevie, and I drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. This week's guests were founding members of the Pen15 Club, but weren't invited to join the Upside Down 58008 Club until much later. Please welcome Rhett and Link. We're here. That we first one was a flyby. Couldn't yeah, quite yeah. get the landing right. <laughs> what? 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 Just a what? Little, you know about a flyby? It's like, flyby. Got it, the oh, landing you were, gear. You were, Everything you were, doesn't come you together. You were planes? Landing no, we're gear. people. We're Important. people, not planes. Pointing How many right times do I have to explain this, Stevie? I'm a plane. Okay. Guys, it's Blake Creek Week. Yes, it's it Blake is. Creek Woo! Week! Yeah, look at us. Look You're at the Blake merch. Creek. Finally. Blake Creek. I'm Blake Creek. This is Bleak Creek. People can read our novel. You can get Bleak Creek anywhere books are sold. I highly recommend going to bleakcreek.com because it's all there for you. Yeah, we made it easy. Um, also, today is the final day. You can enter into the Bleak Creek Barbecue Bonanza giveaway yep. where we're going to choose two people and their guests to come out to L.A. and have a, a good old pig with us. Uh, again, bleakcreek.com is where you enter, where there's more information. Um, also, something that we haven't really talked about that much, but there is a, a, an audio version of Bleak Creek at audible.com right. slash Bleak Creek. That'll take you straight to it. There is an intro that you guys did that only lives in that recording. Yeah. There is an interview that I did with, with you us. that only lives in that recording. Um, recording. Is that something? Right, yeah. Does That's that right. sound? Yeah. I so, mean, it was recorded. Yeah. It lives within it. Audible.com slash Bleak Creek. There's all kinds of Bleak Creek things. You We're can read the really book with your eyes closed using your ears. Yes, absolutely. Um, what else? Oh, this is this is a special announcement a lot of people are going to be excited about. Remember that Bleak Creek doc that we're showing currently at the Bleak Creek Conversations? Yeah, and then everyone was like, please, 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 please. We can't, if we can't go to the show, can we still see it? We're going to sell it to you. You're going to no, be able to see it. We're going to give it to you. That's right. This Monday through Wednesday on GMM, we are going to be showing that documentary on Good Mythical Morning. That's what the episodes are going to be because we know that only so many of you can make it to the Bleak Creek Conversations. Yeah, th those are special live events, but it was such the experience of making the docuseries was so special to us that we wanted to be able to share it with anybody who wanted to see it. So. It's good. It's good. Highly recommend seeing the whole thing. And I was also, there, you know, it's good. The Bleak Creek Conversations uh, aren't just the documentary. Right. They're conversations that we talked about. The book, we answer questions and did some other things that we're not going to do on GMM that were just special to those evenings. But yeah, we're excited for everybody to see it and to make that connection between our lives as kids and growing up in Bowie's Creek and how that informed Bleak Creek. And then I, I think in The Good Mythical Moors, we'll kind of do like our commentary version from the desk. So we'll kind of unpack some of the things uh, that you see each day in the docuseries. Mm -hmm. And hey, if you're in LA today, tomorrow, if there's still tickets left, you can see the Bleak Creek conversations. Yeah. Bleakcreek.com, everything is there. Um, yeah. Also, on today's episode, that, that was all before the This Week portion of, of, of LTAT. Yeah, um, it's called LTAT. We have a, an LTAT exclusive clip from when we went to North Carolina, and it involves the two of you holding hands. Oh, what? Uh, also, I have to award the winners of our um, candy tournament, our Mythical Crew candy tournament, and uh, I have a little something special in store. Okay. But first, our rejected snack this week. Let's well, I don't want to put snack. this under my desk. Put this somewhere. Yeah, so keep put, that put this. prominent. Yeah. Prominent. Prominent. Can, can you like, can you balance it on your head, guys, for the rest of the show? No. Nope. Do you like eating? Yes. Boogers. No. Because that's what we're gonna do for our taste test portion of today's episode. Um, so what? when we were going through and getting all the candy for the best candy tournament this week, mm -hmm. we noticed a theme of not quite like Halloween candy, which you did on the first more, uh -huh. but like 
Bro booger specific candy. So booger -specific I figured, candy. ow, I hit my elbow. I, we will be eating this. So first, snot your regular gummy bag of boogers gummy candy. Snotter melon, sour green boogie, and lemon loogie. Which guy? Which which a one? A loogie is not like? a booger. Well, technically, it has some mucus in it. It's in the same family. Yeah, I, I mean, it's is that a the booger one that want? comes out of your mouth is oh, called a loogie. Oh, I can't tell what they are. Not, I don't think it's in the. It's a mystery situation. I think you've got like guess. snot, and then you've got loogies and boogers both underneath it in terms of like the the. Um, the taxonomy. The org chart oh, maybe of, a, there's of, a taxon of a nose. Okay. Yes! Oh no, I still didn't guess. So one. hold on. It, they they come in little packages. Okay, mm -hmm. so each each bag of boogers is pretty small. Ooh, ew. Um, it's like the know. size of oh, a... Why are they shaped in a weird... They're boogie shaped. Yeah, they're because it's boogers, man. Okay, you get one of each. We get a snotter melon, a, a sour green boogie, and a lemon loogie. All right. That is yeah. gross. Ew. Listen, this is, how you, this is how you stop your kids from eating boogers. Or is this how you start your kids eating boogers? Right, it's training. Oh. What? I did, I'm Nasty. following the instructions, guys. This unit not labeled for individual sale made in mm. China. I'm really hungry for some reason, and I wish we were eating something else on the show, but I'll take what we can get. What I can get. They're not get, salty enough. What we all can get. I like them. They're I'm delicious. into this. What other kind of boogers we got? We got a box of boogers. We got a box. This Tangy gummy company? boogies. Mm -hmm. Flix? Is it from Flix? Because Flix. Is that what the other one was yeah. from? Yeah. Fine, Flix. Well, well, we'll tell soon enough if they're the exact Wait. same thing. Just one in a box, one in a bag. No. No. In fact, we're gummy people. You know those like shark gummies that are like a little chalky and like a oh, little hard? They're a little bit blue on one side and a little bit white on the other I side. I love those. This there's looks a gradient. Like that. I love gradiented, gradiented gummies. Here's you some know, boogers for you. We've been we've talked about gushers, but oh. the ones that your mom used to get, the ones that were strawberry. Oh, these are not as chalky as, as you thought, are they? No. I'm disappointing. A disappointment. Whoa, they are very spongy. Yeah. You almost can't bite through them. They're gu they're gummy e, -e which is fine. Well, sometimes you get a booger like that, you know? Ew. Sometimes you get a booger that bounces back. A bounce back booger? Yeah. Tangy gummy boogies that look and feel real. Yeah. No, they don't. These feel Stupid. like Stupid. Let's have some of them feel like this. Um You know one that you let sit in there for a while? Ew. And you're like, I'm gonna get that and then you forget. And you're like, oh, I need to get that, but then you forget again. Yeah. And then like the third or fourth day, you're like, oh yeah, I gotta get that. If you eat those, they're real bouncy. You talking about a booger? Yeah. That was a long story. I forgot you were talking about boogers. <laughs> okay, these look like it's a nerds. Rod. Zombie zombie. Oh, this is like a, a test. Zom, zombie tube. zombs. Zombie boogers. These are green apple. You like green apple. Yes, sir. Zombie booger. What? what? <gasps> they're, they're not packed, they're, they're overpacked. Oh. Oh Hold no, on. I've it, messed myself with boogers. Th these just, I mean, this is like a booger after you take it out and set it on the windowsill. <laughs> Why do you say you these things like you've done all of them? Oh God. I've done all I've of them. I've seen his collection. Ew. You don't do it now as an adult, right? Where do you put them in your car? On my car? Yeah. Um, I flick them outside, man. Oh, like a cigarette butt? Yeah. Flick me outside. <laughs> <laughs> You put them inside a car? Sometimes I'll just, you know, in my old car, the one that I didn't have any respect for, I'd reach down just below where you'd grab it and like make the seat go forward or back. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's crusty down there. Oh gosh. <laughs> uh. Or just go all the way to the floorboard, the carpet. Ew. You, I mean, everybody has to pick their nose occasionally. Well, why is the underside of your car crusty from how, how much you pick your nose and put <laughs> it on there? Poor Lily. So you admit it. These are pretty good. Yeah, you're making, so you your, admit you're making your daughter drive that car. You too. Pick your boogers? Me? No, women don't fart or pick our noses. <laughs> we're, just, we're just naturally rosy. We're naturally purple and then <gasps> pink. Oh, look at that, yeah. Well, my hair's here. And it's already pink. Oh, you understand how the shirt works. Um, it's okay, a very so, sensitive hyper color shirt. So when we, yeah, I'm really hot like here. Also, mm -hmm. someone touched my boob. 
Yep, that was that's that, permanent. That was there already, Stevie. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Um, so when we were about to head to the airport, when we were down in Bowie's Creek, we stopped. We like went through the middle of uh, Campbell University, and there was a little fountain, and the fountain uh, provoked <laughs> a story that I quite yep. liked. Yep. And we're about to we 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 pulled the van up, like screeched it up, and. We were like, we're gonna get this on camera. Just fl- none of that action's in this clip, but just so you know, okay. we that action was behind the scenes in this clip. Um, but the clip has the hand holding, so you're gonna like it. Okay, so uh, most ram- romantic spot in Bowie's Creek, this fountain in the middle of Campbell University's campus. This, believe it or not, is the site of my very first kiss with Amber. Oh look, there's a, oh, there's a historical marker that shows that this is my first kiss. Oh, actually, this is, I didn't realize this at the time, but this fountain is in memory of a man, Dr. Stuart Fletcher Clayton, a doctor who died in 1967. He's actually a dentist. A man who loved youth and education. And his brother, Don. So I was like, oh, this is, tonight's the night, man. I gotta make things happen. And so I was wearing my blue Nike sweatshirt. (laughs) It was perfect, everything about it, it fit me perfectly. I grabbed her hand, I walked up this path right here. Link, would you be Amber? Would you do the honor of just being Amber? She could be invisible. Uh, I think you should, uh, just, just, just be Amber. I mean, I'm gonna show you what I did. Just hold my hand. We were interlocking. This is the sexy way to hold hands. I was interlocking. Walked right here. Returned. Listen, I know how this ends. I don't want to be Amber. No, you don't have to be Amber. We sat down right on the memorial plaque. I probably sat here in my Nike sweatshirt for way too long. A minute without saying anything. And then I turned. And listen, this is what you should do. I was in eighth grade and I knew this. I turned and said, Can I kiss you? Oh, you asked her. And she said, yes, you can. And then I kissed her and I counted in my head for seven seconds. The best seven seconds of my life. And then I pulled out. I mean, <laughs> I, mean I, I mean, I, 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 I pulled back. I pulled away. I, I stopped kissing her. That's what I, that's what, that's what I did. And uh, and then we got back up and we walked back in. And couldn't you just see the look on our faces? I mean, you saw- Beaming, you were beaming. Beaming, glowing. You did, there, there was no like conversation beforehand or afterhand. The only thing you said to her was- Can I Can kiss, I kiss you? you? You kissed and then no more conversation. Yeah. I wanted to, I, I was a singular focus, man. Can I get up now? Sure. Let me just, sit, I want to just sit here for a little bit. Whew. When I kissed Amber for the first time, everybody was watching. Yeah. It was at, it was at the- More uh, of an exhibitionist It was at thing. the Kiwanis Club, the Ruiton building. No fountains involved. Yeah. Just fireworks. Wow. You know, I, I, I gotta thank Ben for that last line. When we were done filming, he was like, you know what, you should have said, I said no fountains involved. He said, you should have said, just fireworks. And so then I said, well, roll again. I said, <laughs> just fireworks. <laughs> right? Isn't that what happened? How did you feel, man? You you went you sat right. Man. You, <laughs> you sat right on the plaque. That seems weird to me, like making out on a plaque. Well, making out on a historical marker is the way that is the only way I kiss now. We have a historical marker under our bed at home because <laughs> I want to mark that location every chance I get. <laughs> is it technically making out if you just hold your face there for seven seconds? No, there was tongue. Oh, you didn't put that in there. I put the tongue in the mouth. <laughs> That's what pulled out. <laughs> I was like a, I was like a hummingbird. <laughs> uh. <laughs> when you said, when you were talking about your Nike sweatshirt and you said how perfectly it fit, you you went like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But for you, that kind of is it fit fitting perfectly. perfectly. <laughs> it's only four inches too small. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> um, okay. So, Whoa. you know that every time we do a tournament on GMM, we also have brackets that you guys fill out, but also we have Mythical Crew teams that also fill out team brackets. So, 
This time around was no different, and I told everyone, actually David told everyone, that on the line was a $100 gift card to Amazon, which I put under here so I could swiftly get it out, but now I can't find it. There it is. <laughs> Smooth. There it is. It's proof you have it. Yes, I have it now. So I'm going to <laughs> announce the winners. Um, first of all, all teams chose Reese's Peanut Butter Cups to win. Because, Smart. Because of course, that was going to happen. You know, but okay. there were a possible 32 points, and the highest score was 25, and that goes to the culinary team. So come on out, guys. The culinary team. The culinary team is a new team. It is. We had to. We had to create new teams. We had to expand as 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 our team expands. Right. The teams multiply, and apparently everyone else chose like a really cool name, except for you guys. Because why felt, is like, Ben on that? Why are you on the culinary team? Because we had to put really? people on teams. <laughs> ben could go on many a team, but this was the team that we that that Ben's on. Welcome, Ben. Uh, thanks, guys. <laughs> uh, ben once made his own hot chicken at home and then texted me a photo of it. So that's why he's on the culinary team. But the, uh, yeah. but also he that directs. Is, all he, of he directs all of your. He your directs content. all of the. He directs all of the yeah. food. And you may not know Ryan, a yes. producer, and editor. You've been editing it too. Yep. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so welcome Ben, who's been here for seven years, and <laughs> also Ryan, who you've never seen before. Fireworks. Um, but here's the thing. Did I put this back under here? I did. I just feel like it would be silly for you guys have to split this. So I have four. Just kidding, I don't. I only have one. So that means you guys have to compete to see who actually gets this card. What? And what better way to compete? B and then this way that's covered and it's gonna come out right now. Oh, this no. game is really all about me and how I didn't get what I wanted previously. Please remove the sheet. Uh, us? Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, Can you find yes, the M&M uh, <laughs> in 9,000 Skittles? Okay, 9,000 Skittles apparently is how many you have to have in order to make it difficult. Yep. Now I can find it in approximately 21 seconds, yep. but... You might remember previously on this show, this was not entertaining, but today... But now it's gonna be really fun because it's gonna take longer. Today. <laughs> okay, so the first person to find the M&M... It's like when the, the tribe splits up. It's like you, you're turning the team against oh. themselves. Our reward is just more work. Three, two, uh, one, go! Uh, 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 I really want a new jump rope. So the Almond Joy really messed everybody up. Like, I think everybody was upset about that. But that was such a Cinderella. You know, it's like Almond Joy's such really a good. Cinderella. Almond such Joy's a Cinderella. Such a Cinderella. I went home and told Christy, and like she was super proud of me. She loves Almond Joy. <laughs> she's got good taste. She was, I'm super proud of you. She was super proud. Because I, I, I told her I think I like Almond Joys now. She was like, I'm super proud of you. It doesn't take much. What color is it? Okay, you you want you ready for that hint? Yeah. It's green. Oh. Why? <laughs> Just start eating them all. <laughs> They're having to eat them to guess, to, 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 to uh... Yeah, determine. but if you eat the M&M, &M, how will I ever believe you? You want to go help them, Link? Nope. And you forget how good Skittles are until you eat some Skittles. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want some boogers? Kind of. Okay. These are the best boogers. Hey, you guys know what 100 divided by 4 is? I'll take you guys 25. Think about it. Did you have to look at your phone for that? <laughs> Man, it's funny that Stevie was disappointed. And like I said, now this is... Now I'm also disappointed in a different way. I don't know what I was hoping for, but... You got, you got, you guys want me to help? Sure. I like that. Now if he finds it, he gets, he gets the gift certificate. Gets it, gets it. I'm cool with it, man. It's all about believing that you can find it. Yeah. This is the thing where there isn't an M&M in there, and like the first one to call that out is the one who wins? Mm. No. Ah. <laughs> it, doesn't have the, it doesn't have the retribution I I feel that I was going for. You know? You wanted this David, to this like is revenge. too many. This is too many Skittles, David. We're gonna have to do this a third time, David. Oh, I had a thing going. 
I got a survey. Not anymore. Over there. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think there might have to be a system. What if you put everything that's not Stop green it. back into the container? Yeah, that's what I'm doing on this side. Oh, Benzema, huh. Got it. What? Covered to what? There's nothing to see. We've been shuffling around Skittles for like 15 minutes. Did he really? <laughs> got, it. got it. Come on, Stevie. Just act. Not again, Link. <laughs> Not again. Wow, that was pretty convincing. You just gave up, though. What a good actor you I are. gave you an opportunity, Stevie. This could have been over. I molded over and turned it over. They're never gonna find it. And I'm kinda, you know, I'm, I got plans this weekend. I wanna get started. You know what you could do while, well, what you could do is um, go to bleakcreek.com. Yeah. And, and then what you would do in that case is you would have this tab open this would be going on in the background. Then you plus you plus out another tab. You go to bleakcreek.com on that tab while this is going on in the background. And you order the book. You order the book. And then... Listen, you could also... You come um, back to this tab, you realize they're still doing this, you order another book. You I order found another it. book, that's two... No, like for realsies. Good job. Let me yeah, see. I just got that. I got food in my mouth because oh. I'm stressed, I get hungry. You I didn't realize you bit it. Yay! <laughs> You're telling me um, you freaking, ah! <laughs> you ate half of it before Sorry. you realized? Yeah, well, I've been biting into all of them. <laughs> I've been biting into all of them. It's a lot easier than reading the S and the uh, M. Yeah, no, it was already in the pile of green Skittles that they didn't do their diligence on, so I put them all in my mouth. <laughs> it was in the Wait, pile? pile? It was it in Nicole's the pile? No, Nicole, 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 Nicole did all the work to make the Nicole! pile. Nicole! I put it in the pile! Isn't that how it usually works? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Josh. Thank you went a hundred dollar gift work. card to Amazon. Yes, here you go. Thank this you. is a fake one, but you can have a real one. Okay. Yeah. What are you going to buy? A jump rope and then a cage for my guinea pigs. Yep, got to get those Have they been running pigs. around? No, I don't. They're, they're only theoretical right now. Okay. <laughs> you can't buy a guinea pig on Amazon. They've been running around in his mind. Uh. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for making my dreams come true and great work at guessing candy and then finding other candy. That's all I have today. So, okay. all together, the final line. Until, Until next, LTAT. Keep on B-Y-M-B. F-O-S-A.